In this sum, observer is seen from this direction. Length is 100, that is 25 plus 20 plus 10, again 20 plus 25. So total length is 100. So observer will see from this side. So he has to draw front view, top view and sectional right hand side because cutting plane line is this side. Now in height is 90 plus 25 and width is 70, that is 25 plus 35 plus 10. Now, first we will start with front view. So in front view, if you see the main object, they have given diameter 50. So what we will take, we will take half of this length, we will go down by 25 and we will draw radius 25. Then they have given one more circle, that is diameter 25. So radius would be 12.5. After that, we will draw this slope. See this main diagram, this part. So that we will draw. So what we can do, we can draw one center line. We can extend this. But we have to extend this till where? If you see the main diagram, you will realize that we have to draw till this height, 12. So take 12 from here and draw horizontal line. Again, if you see the main diagram, there are two tangents. See this? This part is going this tangent. So that we need to draw it over here. So we'll draw tangent on both the sides. After that, when you see from the front, these two circles, you won't be able to see. You will be able to see only dotted lines. So what we will do, we will take 25 from here, we will draw a center line from both the sides and they have given diameter 10. So we will take 5 on both the sides and we can draw dotted line. So we are done with front view. Now we will draw side view. Now see the main sum. In side view, in side view, this part is 44, this length, this circle apart. So height is 50 and length is 44. Then we can see this slope plus this rectangle and this slope. So what we will do, first we will take projection from front view. We will draw, take 44 from here and go 50 down and we can draw this part, this rectangle. Take this down, this height is 12. Then if you see the rib part, that we can project from front view. That width also we know is 10. So we can take from here. We have to draw slight curve. This will be done. This is that slope, inclined portion of the rib. And now we have to draw dotted line. Not a line from its circle. If you see the main sum, this circle is going through and through. So it will form, the top and bottom will form two edges. So those two edges we have to draw dotted. Plus, we need to draw bottom two circle also, which are there in this diagram. These two circles, this and this, they will coincide. So you need to take 25 from here. Draw axis line and again take 5 phi on both the sides. So we are done with side view as well. Now we need to draw top view. So when you draw top view, see the main sum. When you see from the top, you will see this rectangle of 44 by 50, this slope and these two slope and the base plate. So what we will do, we will project from here. It's given 44. So I can project till here. And then they are given this rib also. That also I can project from here. So we'll get this part. Now see, over here there won't be any dark line. Why? Because if you see the main diagram, here there is no edge. 
So that's why we won't be drawing edge in top view as well as over here in side view. Now to get this approximate length, what we need to do? We need to project from front view. So we'll get the length of the strip and we can draw curve. We'll extend till there and we'll draw curve. This is called merging curve. After that, we will draw this slope. We can project directly from here. After that, if you see the base plate, see in the main diagram, if you see, we have done a base plate with radius 25, 25 and these two circles. So what we will do, we will take 25 from here, 25 from here and we will mark center. So it will just come 1 millimeter ahead than this. Why? Because this total is 44 and this is 45. So from this point, we can draw radius 25. Same way from this point, we can draw radius 25. And from here we can draw radius 5. So this part would be dotted. From here also radius 5. So the quarter, almost quarter of the part would be dotted. Now we have to draw dotted line. When you see from the top, see the main diagram. This circle, diameter 25. So we, will, we have to draw these two edges. Plus, if you see, this portion you can't see from the top. This part, which is the intersection of the rib. First we will draw these two points. And if you see the main object, see this part, this rib and this rib, they are merging over here. So it's called intersection of a rib. When you see from the top, you can't see this formation that is T. So what we will do in top view, we'll extend this and see this. We will get this T formation. So this T formation is the intersection of rib which you can't see from the top because of this object. For sectional side view, you see the cutting plane, the main sub, cutting plane RS, see this, cutting plane is passing through like this, so we have to draw sectional side view, so we have to draw cutting plane in front view and we will remove this object. So this part will be done. When you draw hatching, there won't be any hatching over here. Why? Because it's a rib and we are cutting it parallel. But the behind portion is also rib, but that is getting cut perpendicular. So we need to hatch that. What will happen? This we need to erase. This will go away. This also will go away. And these two dotted lines will also go away. Why? Because this cutting plane line is not passing through the circle, the circle is behind, so we need, we need to show only center line for that. These two lines will become that. Center line and 